that hits right in the spot. Hello, hello, YouTube fam. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Chelsea from Chelsea Estes Lit here. If you're new here, we're all about thrifting, secondhand shopping, and having fun with our fashion. So if that's your jam, make sure you join the fam. As in, subscribe to my channel. As in, go below, hit the subscribe button, and I will wait till you get back. Thank you. Today we are in my... Okay, you know what? No, we're not doing this. Hold on. I'm not playing games with you. <sighs> it's day three of my wash and go, and this hair still hasn't risen. I don't know what to do at this point. Tired of this, Grandpa. You keep digging. <laughs> like, what is that? Any hoosers. Today we are in my apartment. Um, your girl is tired. Hence the eye patches. I woke up bright and early this morning. And, you know, like, <laughs> it just doesn't hit the way it used to in my youth. <laughs> These, like, early morning wake-up calls. They really be showing in my eye bags y'all but uh, what I can't concentrate today today we are in my closet because when we did the big clean out in January you guys might have seen it in my channel I promised myself and most importantly I promised Cadeza that we would be doing a monthly checkup temperature check throughout the closet and throughout the spaces and throughout my house so it doesn't build up to the madness that it was in January so that is what we're doing today we're doing a quick little cleanup but aside from that, we are also doing something I'm calling a sip and thrift flip, hence the coffee, which is going to be essentially like looking for pieces that need uh, a little extra love, a little TLC, whether that's like sewing on a button, gluing things back together, because if I love the piece, I want to make sure I treat it correctly so I can keep it for a long time instead of just like tossing and you know picking up something new especially for thrifted pieces you guys know those are sometimes they come with their little knickknacks and their little dinks so um we are doing that throughout the closet today and you guys are doing it with me so i'm not alone and i might be answering a few questions that you guys have sent my way through instagram so let's get started first of all i need to get dressed i'm looking for something comfy today because obvio we're gonna be working in this closet and um yeah this is that okay cozy outfit is on let me put on some earrings super annoying but i can't find the matching one to this one anyways any hoosers okay cozy outfit is on this should be a quick speed round a rapid fire round because we already did this not that long ago so pretty much i'm just going through and anything i said i'm gonna give this a try to see if i wear it in the next month or so if i haven't she's goners so why can i speak regular english can somebody explain this to me like why am i always like goners any hoosers i give people nicknames like i guess that's how i make life fun anyway <laughs> let's get started we're starting on jackets on the other side okay period this is pretty i have to start wearing this said one of these was gonna go honestly feeling like this guy i think let me try them on this is pretty i haven't worn this yet but it's very spring oh no the shoulder pad is literally in the sleeve what the heck skis i have also cut back on thrifting a lot um this new year probably started last year and continued on this year but um, I know I take you guys thrifting a lot, but I just don't bring as many things home, which is what I want, right? Like I don't want to be over consuming, which is really easy to do when you thrift as often as I do. You kind of justify it by being like, oh, well, it's secondhand, better for the planet, et cetera, et cetera. But all I'm doing is now like hoarding and not wearing those pieces. It's, yeah, it's not great. So I'm gonna try this on. Such a good cardigan, I just don't wear it. It's almost like a jacket cardigan. I just don't wear it as often as I should. Should. This goes on the other side. Placement in your closet is key too because you want to make sure the pieces go where you think about them, right? So like if I'm looking for a jacket, I want to be, or if I'm looking for like a coat style of jacket, I want it to be on that side where my coats are. Still one of my favorite finds of 2022. The fact that we found two of these. My alter ego's name is Paige, guys. Awesome. I have to fix this. Probably my most worn piece, thrifted piece of 2022 was this blazer. I just absolutely love it as a dress. Oh, this one could use a little, a little wipey. She's a little crusty. 
this year is absolute cuckoo bananas for me i have two weddings that i'm a part of three now four babies being born in my circle of friends and family and um a life <laughs> to continue having but um yeah it's about to really kick into high gear now in march i have my first bachelorette at the end of the month then i have the first baby shower at the beginning of the next month then i have coachella then i have my sister's baby shower then i have uh i'm missing something in april then i have uh oh a bridal shower uh then i have a second bachelorette the first wedding then my sister's baby's being born then i have another bridal shower this is we're already up to june um then my cousin's baby's being born being born is that correct is it's coming to the world <laughs> coming to the earth then i have in july my uh, childhood best friend's baby being born and the second wedding and then in august uh the third baby fourth baby fourth baby and then i'm free <laughs> this is a year y'all 2023 people said i'm popping babies getting married huh like <laughs> My pockets be hurting. But anyway, I say all that to say, uh, there's obviously like themes with every bachelorette. And I'm also utilizing this time to kind of like start shopping my closet for what I want to wear and what I want to bring and seeing what holes I can fill by thrifting. We're going to be thrifting tomorrow. And so, yeah. <laughs> Hold on tight, y'all. 2023 is about to be a ride. Purses. Yeah. <laughs> There shouldn't really be much, but like, never hurts to give it a little look, skis. I just know my ESL teacher is like having palpitations right now somehow because like she taught me English well. They all did. And I just like remixed it. Like I'm like, mm, I think I like this version better. Yes, I had ESL as a child because I was born in this country, y'all, but I wasn't really right here. I mean, I came back to New York. I don't know if, I mean, I've told this story many times, but I was born in New York. My parents left when I was a baby with me and my sister back to the Dominican Republic. And then race was there. When I was 13, my parents are like, let's flip it and reverse it and brought us back and by then we had my little brother as well and so the three of us trekked back to new york and we've been living in queens ever so well i still live in queens the rest of them left to new jersey but we um came back to queens and that's where i went to middle school and high school Goddamn train why are they always running when i'm home but when i'm trying to take them they're never on time like Fun little trick they like to play with me huh how fun is this little steve madden bag you guys damn that coffee is really kicking in <laughs> so english was my second language y'all and i did not speak a lick of it when we came back to the states and so yeah i had to take esl for like seventh and i think eighth grade i didn't really get out till almost like high school time your girl adapted keep her toss vote in the comments i think she's cute wait she's really cute no i'm keeping her ah. never mind <laughs> do you guys keep these little dust bags for your bags because i have a million of them and i never i barely ever put my bags in dust bags because i like to see them when i'm getting ready so i generally just like keep them laying around until i get tired and then i toss them a few little belt bags i feel like this one could use a wash this one's good it's just stained Look at this vintage tag. I love it. I love vintage things. I love these little backpacks and I always tell myself like, oh, they're so convenient for like shopping and festival season or whatever the fuck. But I never end up wearing them outside of those scenarios. Maybe I'll keep one. We are going back to Coachella this year. Had no plans to because my year is already so crazy. But then Benito was announced in the lineup and it wasn't even me, honestly. It was Amy who was like, hey, so we're going, right? And I was like, we 
we're gonna have to. It's our boy. Like, we need to see him. I've already seen him, like, seven times. But, you know, what's an eighth? What's an eighth time? Yeah, I think we're... No, we are. We bought tickets. We're going. This is so cute and white 2K. I wish I could wear it more, but, like... Opportunity doesn't really present itself as much. Oh, wait. I should totally use this flower outside of this bag. What is wrong with me? This is such a trend right now. Like a little... Stop. This is why you should shop your closet. And you need to shop your closet constantly. Because the things you find that you forgot about are just, wow. This one, keep or toss for real skis. Because I'm unsure. Most of these things are going to be listed on my Poshmark, by the way. It's Chelsea's of Lake, as on all my social media pull-out forms. So if you like anything that you see, stay tuned. Because Cadesa will be listing them today. This is so cute. I love this so much. I mean, they're so different. <laughs> I feel like that scene in The Devil Wears Prada where she's like, I know, they're so different. No, they're really, they're like two different vibes for real. This is more like daytime beachy, which by the way, I just finished watching. What is that show called? On Netflix, The OBX, Outer Banks. And I'm so into the beachy vibe right now, which is so convenient seeing as it's 20 degrees outside. But Bukasha necklace, like, flowy skirt vibes very like you know beachy essentially this gives me that i'm not gonna toss her just yet and this is more like going out vibes maybe like a brunch girls night type of thing love i'm doing great but i got hungry hi we are in dresses let's get started happens but i'm like it won't be that much also me uh granted this is not all to be sold or given away this is also mixing whatever i have to fix so now i have to categorize what is what um and go from there okay y'all we have done it cleaned pretty much the entire closet made uh some palettes for poshmark some palettes for the eventual shop relaunch and the things that we need to fix so let me show you guys here's what we need to kind of sew chop needs heavier alterations or cleaning uh cleaning glue and that's about it some more cleaning back there stupid mic and now we start i think i'm gonna start with pieces i need cutting because it's gonna be the easiest and quickest to get through so just want to power through that. In the meantime, we're going to answer some Q&A questions. Question one is fitting. Where do I like to go thrifting? So I generally leave New York to go thrifting, like the city. Or I should say New York City. I go to Long Island or New Jersey because prices are better and stock is better. Like you find a lot more of those vintage finds. And so I love, in Long Island, I go to Island Thrift and I go to my Unique sometimes. My Nick has really fallen for me in the last year or so. They really, I don't know, it hasn't been the same since before the pandemic or even like that first pandemic year. And in New Jersey, I like red, white, and blue. It's in Paramus, I think. I don't know why I'm nervous about like cutting and talking at the same time. And then I also like American Thrift, which is in, I'm forgetting, but I'll drop the address somewhere here. And those are my usual go-tos. Uh, there's a few like Goodwills that I try here and there, but like nothing that stands out at the moment. I also love, or used to love the Goodwill bins, but that's another thing that's kind of just like changed a lot. In recent years, you don't find as much as you used to. Oh my God, first piece. Just chopped it in half because it was giving grim. Oh, this could be a cute little belt moment, maybe. I don't want to hold on to things that I'm not going to use, but there goes the first piece. Eee! This cutting and talking thing is kind of making me nervous. <laughs> I'm like, what if I cut down the wrong way? Anyway, second piece. This is a dress that was sent to me. I don't love it as a dress, so we're going to make it a top. We're going to cut right below this elastic. Another question. Let's try this again. What's on my thrift wish list right now? Funny you should ask because the next video is going to be us 
thrifting my current thrift list, my March thrift list. I'm doing a little home revamp, which is also going to be here on YouTube. And so a lot of my thrift list right now is home stuff. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait, guys. I might have messed this this one up. Home accents, uh, smaller things for my like shelves downstairs and things like that. I'm also... Like I mentioned before, in a lot of weddings and, you know, life events, baby showers, things like that. So I'm thrifting for a lot of that right now, which is like a current need for me. And then in terms of general, I'm looking for a lot of color for spring. So I recently had this moment where I realized I'm not a huge pastel girly. Like I love it only for spring. So I have been staying away from more like pastels and have been looking more into like sorbet colors for spring but i can i know i can also use it in summer oh guys this is cute okay this might be coming with me to one of the bachelorettes see you just gotta reimagine your pieces y'all but yeah no i feel like you shouldn't buy something that you know you'll only want to wear like two weeks out of the year you know like pastels is just like that march april timeline for me and I won't wear it for the rest of the year and that's not okay. So I'm sticking to more like punchy colors or like at the very lightest sorbet. So looking into that, just now realizing I want more short skirts that are colorful. A lot of my short skirts are like more neutral. Still looking for that gold or silver like very metallic coat. That is never going to change. I will search till my last dying breath. Or jacket. It could be a jacket. I'm not that picky. Vintage Mets gear, which is very specific. But like, whenever there's a Mets game and I want to go, I never know what to, what to wear. And I really want just like a cool like vintage like Mets jacket or a t-shirt. Just the one to have. Suede vest top. This one, I'm kind of running out of time here because we're going into spring. But I really wanted a suede vest that I could wear as a top. Black leather shorts, y'all. Like, I have been looking and looking and looking for these black leather shorts. And to no avail but I'm still looking I want just like a standard pair this is a dress I thrifted for this bow and I never took off the bow so we're doing that now I'm always on the hunt for wide leg jeans still haven't found a pair that I'm like obsessed with so I haven't purchased any that's about it I kind of want to go through Pinterest and see like what my vibe is gonna be this spring like what I'm feeling what I already have versus what I want to look for at the thrift store and that'll probably be next week's video so Stay tuned. This is cute. I want to put this either on a top or like a blazer or something. Like, how cool. Yes, love this. Love, love, love. Let's get through the rest of this choppy chop situation and then circle back because we're going to be here all day chatting. for this because it's straight up Clorox but like is it can you uh, I don't know if you guys struggle with this too but like I cannot clean with gloves on I just I don't know I don't feel the dirt coming off of things and eventually I know it's gonna harm my hands but I guess that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make this is a cool little product I recently was sent by Clorox as a fabric sanitizer and it's supposed to not harm whatever you're sanitizing so we're gonna spray some of this in there and let it dry. Okay, so I really love, love, love this clutch and I was hoping to be able to restore her, but I think she's too far gone. This flap is definitely gluable, but like the rest of the inside is kind of just like, the leather is kind of falling apart. And so, I don't know, I feel like every time I put something in there, it's just gonna come out with like remains of the leather. So I might have to say goodbye to this clutch all right y'all almost done here we're sewing the last few pieces this is a bag that just kind of crept out on me at the bottom so we are restoring el fondo como decimos en español but a few more questions from the q a somebody asked do you take yourself on solo dates any recs on how to spend it i think by nature i like spending time by myself a lot uh it might be the aquarius in me we are very like individualistic we like to be by our 
are lonesome. I wouldn't even call them dates. They're just like me hanging out with myself all the time. But if I had to kind of, you know, plan a date for myself, it would probably be a museum, shopping, thrifting, etc. Uh oh, my battery's gonna die. Okay, no, for real though, um, today was a day. I feel like I've lived three lives, um, but we came out the other end, friends. The room is clean again. Um, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I don't, this is the hat I just fixed. Um, it had a huge gaping hole. I got it in the last thrifting video you probably saw. It had a huge gaping hole in the back. It's giving Pasión de Gavilanes. The girls who get it, get it. And yeah, thank you for spending today with me, guys. It was much needed. I'm so happy I got all those pieces um, kind of like fixed, you know, zhuzhed up. And I gave my closet a little refresh. We're going to do this every month. Probably not every month on the channel, but every month nonetheless. Because this is how I stay on top of my things. And I make sure I'm utilizing my things. And I'm getting new ideas and inspiration from the pieces I already own. And yeah, that's the game plan. Again, if you are all about thrifting, secondhand shopping, having fun with your fashion, make sure you subscribe to my channel. We post new videos every week. Mostly on Thursdays, but you know... <laughs> There might be a few Fridays in there, here and there. I'll see you guys next week. Love you so much. We're going thrifting tomorrow, which is coming to the channel next week. I'm so excited for it because, again, I'm feeling refreshed. I'm feeling energized. I have a good vibe for tomorrow. I have a good feeling about the finds. And that's going to be live on the channel soon. So stay tuned for that. Love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, in the meantime, you can find me at Chelsea as of late on all my social media channels. Okay, bye.